He's laughing, <laughs> no. but we know that he's only a few events away from making it a million dollar business, Thomas. Yeah. You're the reason why I found employees. Like, why am I the reason? It's because I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna miss out on these moments anymore. I'm tired of not having the date nights or things of that nature. I want calendar control back. During that entire year, the first year in 2017 of your business launch, when did you start considering bringing in people to help you with your business? The thing here, Thomas, is a lot of people listening are having a hard time handing over the steering wheel yeah. and giving up control. That's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Do you want to have a side hustle or do you want to run a company? Because companies, you're not going to get it right all the time. I've had events sometimes where you captured their, their grandma and then the, the next year, their grandma's not there anymore. And they're relying on your photo gallery to, to revisit those moments again. They know they cannot start the event unless they send me a setup photo of the entire photo booth setup. Okay. And they got to send us a quality photo of what it looks like. I'm a firm believer you have to pay the price at those quinceañeras, at those backyard parties, and eat shit for a little bit. <laughs> you got you to gotta feel it. So don't worry about corporate. Worry about the basics and the fundamentals of, of acquiring clients. When you do the event, that's the fun shit. That's cool. You're, you're making it. But you got to be willing to put in the, the boring work. The boring work is sending the emails, getting the review, posting, editing, getting it out there. Because I feel like a lot of folks right now are probably stuck in that phase where I'm leaving my house unless I'm making $600 for an event. Right. So they're stuck in that mind because yeah. their enthusiasm is tied to how much they're being compensated. Do the fucking work. Yeah, pivot, yeah. pivot quickly. Yeah. That's the beauty about small business is that we can pivot. We, we don't quickly. We don't gotta get uh, approval mm. from hire, none of that crap, you're hire, that's it. Yeah. Pivot quickly, you know, and business owners, we have, we are really the backbone of this country and you have so much, ab you have, you have the ability to have so much impact on people. Mm -hmm. You can really impact. My company last year, I think one of the proudest things we did as a company was we had a, we, we gave us, we, we started a small scholarship. We gave a thousand dollars to a, to a young lady from a, from a high school. Uh, and she, she was, um. She had a, she, did, she just didn't have the financial means to go to college, right? And it was really cool to see that we gave her a, th a thousand straight check. It wasn't to the school, it wasn't to the institution. It was from Stay Golden Photo Booth, a thousand dollars to you. And that, that added on to more of the purpose and impact that I was able to, I was able to uh, give because at one point in time I said, you know what, I'm fed up with this shit. I want, I want to hire people, I want to, I want to help them out, and I want to help other people out through them, right? So that's on a, that's on a later level, well, how, how you can grow this, but the owner, the owner that's listening to you now, if you're tired, if you're really, really fucking tired, do something about it. Don't just sit there and, 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 and uh, think it's going to come to you, because no, one, no, one's gonna, no one's coming to save you. Nobody's right? going to save Nobody's you. Nobody's going to save you here. Your equipment's going to continue to collect dust. Yeah. No one cares. No, no one, one cares. cares. No one cares. No one cares. But here at United Photo Booth, we do care, guys. So please <laughs> implement some of these strategies. This